like a bell cut. Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Obscure Angel PD, and today we are here to take a look on the Batman from the Telltale. Uh, Telltale did improve their engine and so many people are claiming that the game is an unoptimized mess. So I decided to try out the game and see if it is true, if it isn't just kids complaining with bad PCs. And I'm sorry for this being on Brazilian, but I couldn't change the the language but i will say what is there on the options you just have the resolution to choose of the full screen or windowed the anti-aliasing which is a post processing solution very weak one in my opinion hardly affects the fps's and you just have the textures so i ramped up everything to the maximum i put it anti-aliasing i put uh, textures on the eye quality and i put the game at 1080p so the game is loading and I did play Walking Dead before uh, from the Telltale, it was a nice game indeed, I liked the game, but the interaction and gameplay was uh, fairly bad in my opinion, I played Life is Strange recently and I liked much more uh, the gameplay than the, the Walking Dead. I never played the Tales of Borderland though, so I'm, I didn't know how much the Telltale did improve their games. And so Batman, I was expecting uh, something much better. And indeed the game starts, and the first thing to notice on the MS Afterburner is that the game almost consumes 2GB of VRAM. So that's a lot for a game with textures like this. And the second thing that we noticed is centering. So every time the camera changes its perspective or changes its place, we notice centering. That is very, very distracting in my opinion. But I was okay, the game was running at 60 at the beginning, so I, w I, w I was having high hopes that, uh, well, maybe I'll reduce textures and things get better. But as soon as this sequence starts, I start to see 30s and drops to 40s and 30s again and 40s, and I was like, what? Really? How this game could be so demanding? That is the thing. The game is very demanding to the GPU, and every time the game, the camera changes its place, the game just stutters. And so I was thinking, okay, the VRAM is full. Maybe it's the problem with the textures because when the game uh, have the VRAM full, uh, it tends to stutter. So the solution sometimes is reduce the textures or reduce the resolutions or reduce the shadows. That things usually helps a lot with the stuttering, and. I done that, not in the video, but I done that, I reduced the textures, I, even I reduced the resolution, which it helps too, but nothing happens. The stuntering did continue to happen, the frame rate though, uh, reducing the resolution did improve the frame rate, but the stuntering was still there. Every time the camera changes its direction or its place, the game just stutters and sometimes it even stops for one or two seconds. That is very bad, and I was expecting that the consoles had a good version, but after seeing uh, the video of the Digital Foundry, seeing the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One sometimes getting 20 frames per second, I was like, really? Oh my god, Telltale. So I don't quite understand how a game with graphics like this can run at 20 frames per second on the consoles, and I have deep zero to 30s, and I have stuntering all over the place. That's something that goes <laughs> far. That it's, it's, I, I don't even understand this. I don't understand how can this game perform bad. But gameplay-wise, forgetting now about the technical side of the game, uh, gameplay-wise, it seems a nice big step above The Walking Dead, which was the last one that I did play. I liked a lot the new gameplay thing and the new quick time events. It seems much better, but well, these technical things, I think it's giving the game, so we just hope that Telltale fixes the game. And let me know in the comment section how the game runs on your PCs, because this is not pretty. Really, this is not pretty, the situation, the stuttering, the frame rate. This, it's something that I really wasn't expecting. Despite people saying that the game is bad optimized and, and things like that, I wasn't expecting this to be so bad. So gameplay wise is fine, I will shut up myself. If you want to check the result of the frame rate without recording, I invite you to click on the red rectangle saying frame rate, which will take you to the, to the discussion about the frame rate and performance. If you want to check the details, that is their performance uh, graphics and stuff like that, 
on the frame rate proof toggle mode, which I invite you to to, to check it out and um, have a better perspective how the game runs. So, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you soon. Back, circle up! I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Mother teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. Payday. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat.
It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this. Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake, or yours. Give up! There's no way out! <laughs> Give me some credit. Step out of the shadows, and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Hello boys and girls, welcome back now to the performance section of the video and as you can see, changing between textures over here, texture quality on eye or texture on the performance doesn't really impact the frame rate. We can still see big dips, we can see that the textures on the performance, the dips are slightly lower, but it's obvious that the VRAM here is not the problem. Uh, maybe I could put the blame on the hard disk drive or on the CPU, but I don't think so. No game ever done that to me. So I, I do think that this game needs to be fixed, needs to, uh, to be patched. So I expect Telltale to fix this game on the next days for the PCs and console. Because the amount of centering that we can see on the graphic is really, really bad. Well, despite I don't think that is necessary a consistency test since the frame rate is equal, I decided to include it anyway. So it's actually the same. 8% of the frames will be lower than 30 FPS's, and well, 8% of the frames it's not being lower than 30s, but it's actually the stuntry. So this is the VRAM usage and stuff that I get uh, within this game. The game consumes like two gigabytes. Well, it fares with. It stays between 1.3 and... I mean, sorry. It stays between 1.7 or 2 gigabytes of VRAM usage. 
um, the RAM usage stays uh, close to 4 GB at 3.6 and the CPU usage uh, goes between 25% to 60 the CPU is eating 60% when the game stutters so that's why I some, somewhat I do I, I, don't, I think that the CPU might be a little bit a problem but still I think that the game could be much more lightweight making the transitions and the GPU is between 85 to 95, 99% because of the stuttering so for now that's all I want to talk about Batman from the Telltale, hope you did enjoy this video and if you like this game but you don't want to buy it right away because of the stuttering, the best thing to do is stay tuned with the Steam updates uh, for the Batman in case that the new update completely fixes the stuttering. Anyway, if you know anything let me know in the comment section so we can benchmark the game again and see if the things get better, okay? Thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.